Test alert for you. It's that time of year again when wasps or infestations seem to target your home. Placer, El Dorado, and Folsom counties are already seeing outbreaks. Amy Caraba with what you can do to protect your home. When the temperature gets warmer, because bugs that are overwintering or pests that are overwintering actually come out at that point and do most of their activity during the summer months. I'm going to trim these back a foot or so. Home team pest defense says there are several things you can do to get bug-free zones. Try to keep your house free of harbage points like plants against the house. I mean, you want to make, make sure your eaves are clean year-round. Um, and those are really the best things you can do. Pesky pests hiding in the cracks and clutter. So what I'm looking for actually is, is webs, like in the corners here. Uh, under decks, because um, sometimes kids will get under decks. He's got an old wasp nest here, actually, also. Several counties are seeing an unusually high incidence of wasp and spider infestations. Spider bites are no fun, and being stung um, hurts. At this home in Rockland, the team uses tools to help reach unnecessary cobwebs. If you do it right, you actually eliminate all of those spider harbors points and their webs and their food source. These are the type of areas that black widows like to go. And actually, if you look at some of this wood, there is some webbing, so there's probably a, a couple of types of spiders. As far as wasps buzzing around your party. And in the yellow jacket trap, it comes with a pheromone that actually goes on this cotton swab. If you run out of the pheromone, you can actually use rotted meat. Uh, I'll let meat rot and stick it in, close it back up, the yellow jackets go in and they die from heat dehydration. All right, well it's time to make a